And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Karma Control to finish out our Rank Up Sunday stream today. Um, Heimerdinger has looked really good against us today. We've played against Heimerdinger a couple of times and I don't think we have been victorious against Heimerdinger. So now it's our turn to play Heimerdinger, make a bunch of turrets and kill our opponents with that. One little uh, reminder, tomorrow we're going to be doing the Legends of Runeterra Set 1 preview stream where we go through every single one of the 120 plus cards and we're going to be talking about all of them, talking about how they can be used um, and where you, you know where you can fit them in different decks and, and how they all interact with each other. So if you want to join that chat, that's starting tomorrow at 4 o'clock Eastern Time here on Twitch. Um, or if you want to watch it later on YouTube, of course, it'll be up on the YouTube channel also. So twitch.tv slash Hawktie Live or youtube.com slash Hawktie. So that, that's good, what we're going to be doing tomorrow because I believe by 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow we should know all of the cards. And so that's, that's the plan for tomorrow. And then Tuesday we'll be playing with them. All right. So let's start with Heimerdinger or Heimer Karma Control. Uh, we're at 1362. That's where we're at. Somebody's asking what the rank was. All right, we're going to go play five matches. We'll see if we get a get a 5-0. So, yeah, so preview stream tomorrow. I, I always like waiting till we know all of the cards before doing the preview because, you know, then you can kind of have like a... You can see like the bigger picture more and you can have some more references uh, to other things and start really putting things together. And then, of course, you know, we got to... We have to... Um, I'll just keep this. <laughs> and then you know we have to uh build some decks also so like those y'all on youtube if you have uh whatever champions and you know we'll be discussing this tomorrow also whatever champions and and cards and stuff that we are really excited about we gotta you know use our shards get those right away and play those on a tuesday fresh lobsters a really really good player cool uh, Timo Heimerdinger, I like it. I, you know, I really like Timo. Timo is a real fun champion. Very fragile, but real satisfying killing people with puff caps. Ooh, Starlet Seer. Starlet Seer is nice. Starlet Seer is real nice. This is a card that I've, you know, I've played some. I've played Starlet Seer with Heimerdinger and with Karma and with uh, something else. Oh, then also with like Draven in an aggro version. But I always want to play more Starlet Seer. Um, I'm not sure how many shards a Max Vault wields. Um, you know, I think, I mean, well, I guess the answer is it, it depends on, you know, how many, uh, how many extra copies you get of the different cards. The maximum vault is 13, and that gets you three diamond chests. And so I usually get, like, like around 2,000 to 2,500, like somewhere around that number of shards. Uh, each time, like with that, and then of course, remember once you once you start going level fourteen or higher, then each um, you know each additional level you do get an additional um, capsule. But as far as like just like the levels that they have, thirteen is the highest one. I wish I would have mulliganed these mystic shots. This will be a good winter. Good 
Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't cap anymore. <clears throat> it used to cap, but not anymore. Fast as wind, light as air. Um I'm not sure the difference in shards between the platinum and diamond chest. Somebody in chat may may have a good answer for that. But the diamond chest usually like just the number of shards are in like the five to seven hundred range. Just in, in one diamond chest. I'm not sure about platinum chest. Like just the shards part of the diamond chest is in like the five to seven hundred range. Yeah, fizz will be fun. Um, I don't know, Scrub Lord. I don't. I don't know if we'll have a lot of people join the game Tuesday. Probably not. Like just on Tuesday. Um, Thursday is whenever mobile should be up and running. So we, you know, we'll have, you know, we'll have mobile on Thursday, and um, and I think that's, you know, that's where more people will start. Um, I did see on YouTube yesterday, uh, on a YouTube video, I did get a get an ad for Legends of Runeterra. That's like the first one I've seen. That was nice. Yeah, these are some difficult turns here. Not exactly sure what we want to do. No one knows these streets like me. All right, that thing missed. I don't want to get excited to kill Karma. They already played one get excited, right? No, there was Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, it was Thermogenic Beam. But yeah, I don't really want... It's like, basically, I mean, like, I don't really want to cast, like, Shadow Flare and then leave Karma vulnerable. Counterfeit copies. I like some some snipe scavenger too. This is a good card. This is a good card. So they have a Frel they had a Freljord card on top. Right, so we know that because the scavenger missed. So we know there's a Freljord card on top. Do I want like counterfeit copies like I don't know, the Shadow Assassin? Get more Shadow Assassins. Uh, probably just hold on to it and look to discard it. I guess it gives me... Now I, I finally have something to discard to this Get Excited. I suppose. Um... Let's see if this works. This may not work. This is my home. So question says, anybody know why elusive decks don't run at PNZ more often? It's got the second most elusive units behind Ionia. 
basically they just have um, the units they need in Ionia for the most part and the the main thing is Kinku Wayfinder like you can't you can't uh, play very much non Ionia cards and support Kinku Wayfinder and so they're really just looking for um, you know a, a couple of things with the Wayfinder like so they can only have like a couple of other things besides Ionia, and the main thing is they need a one drop to be able to go along with, um, they need a one drop to be able to go along with, uh, The Wayfinder, which you could use Teemo in that slot, but Omen Hawk kind of match, you know, helps pump their other elusive units really well. Didn't have another Mystic Shot to kill the Heimerdinger in response, so we have a Floor Be Gone. That's nice. He was so cool. Ghost. Ghost. I probably should have just discarded the Shadow Flare. Shadow Flare is probably even is probably less useful than than uh, the other card. Mm. It's just worth it. So I want to play Shadow Assassin, but if they kill my Shadow Assassin, um, that could be trouble. But I guess if they do kill Shadow Assassin, they're not killing Heimerdinger or Karma. So the safe play is the Mystic Shot. I guess I still have the Ghost also. Yeah, I still have the Ghost. Yeah, I have the Ghost. Yeah, good call. I forgot about the Ghost there for a second. And then remembered it, and yeah, that's what y'all are telling me. Yeah, we can still ghost up this turret. So if we, they do use removal on the assassin um, to try to get Teemo through. <laughs> yeah, my turret's a ghost now. Ghost turret. Just take seven. Can I? Can I take seven? If I make this block, and just get that thing out of here. No, I probably don't want to take seven. We'll just take four. Make it easier to bolt this peddler. Again. 
what you got. No. That was shocking. All right, looking for another Heimerdinger. Dude, my karmas today have just been like strictly making one mana cards. It's pretty crazy the amount of one mana cards that I've made with karma today. When we were playing karma as all but one card I made with when I were playing those five games in karma as were one were one drops. It was like five out of six, and now we got another two of them. <laughs> Oh, and then we made the counterfeit copies earlier. So we're, we're three for three today. It's just all one mana cards. All right, so that's burst speed. Um, they cannot hide. Hmm. Yeah, Karma wants to become a Goral creature. <laughs> With the one drops. So I'm playing here is just to recall my Shadow Assassin and replay it and draw a new card. That's my plan. That'll still keep me with having three extra mana for next turn. Or twin disciplines if we need to protect Karma. Karma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> I mean, trading with Teemo is probably good, right? attacking with both I mean I don't I don't know I guess I guess we could have attacked with both I suppose Compassion, not anger, drives us to I do kind of want to just bolt this peddler Killing this peddler. <clears throat> peddler gave me like 27 puff caps. Just by itself. But good news is they're down to two cards. I have infinite cards because I have a leveled up Karma and then inside of Ages and Rummage, so I have infinite cards. <clears throat> we have to just hopefully not die to Puff Caps. That's, that's the only way we're going to lose this is Puff Caps.
of what he's having. Let's clear these up. Doing the three damage to the peddler, I think that's the most important thing to get out of here. So doubling up that, and then two damage, of course, to this thing, so it'll be four total, and then one to Ultimo. Hopefully this just resolves without us getting more puff caps. Alright, that's fine. gain five life, please. Even if they have, like, a, a burn spell to get rid of my barrier, and then they kill Karma, we have the backup Karma, so it's not it's not the end of the world. And I, it's not like I, I don't really need the inside of Ages, because we have the Rummage. Like, we're getting rid of... We can get rid of Ghost and Shadow Flare, and we can draw four with Rummage, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I like... See, that's really nice. Like, we got rid of two Get Excited from their hand. Um, with them killing us with, like, Puff Caps burn spells, like, that's that's really nice, getting those out of their hands. And, of course, we gained five life also. So that was a really good turn. That was a really, really good turn. They're not going away, though. That's true, Rummage 4 can give me kill with puff caps. That's That is true. Stop giving me all these puff caps, these peddlers. They're meddling. These meddling peddlers. I don't think I really need to ghost the karma. Like I I want to get Puff Cat Peddler out of here. Like I that's a card that I'm real that I'm honestly scared of. Like I I want them to block. I'm honestly scared of that card. All right, let's make some spells. With Flash of Brilliance. Oh my gosh. That's their third progress day in the last three turns. We're down to 12 cards left. Roman should be target player disc draw, you know, discard two, target player draws two. So I can tell them to draw two and double it. Mill them out. Has been a really good game, though. It's been a really good game. Hey, Warmanger, yes. Coming to mobile on the 30th. I'm excited about that, too.
Um. Let's play this first. What do we get? All right, that's cool. I have 12 mana? Oh, I can't have 13. I want to play both of these. That's a good card. I guess I play this right now. I like I want to play Dawn and Dusk on Karma first and then play this and then you know get just a ton of true shot barrages. Like that's that's obviously the ideal thing. Um but it, I need one more mana for that. So we're talking about next turn and right now I just don't have like really anything else to to be doing. You know, I guess it could have could have just played Ritual of Renewal. I suppose. Or that toughness. So 20, 20 cards, 33 puff caps. Can I draw four? Maybe, maybe not. She probably does not. I'm not sure if they will have uh, instant speed removal if I dawn and dusk the karma next turn. Could just go straight to attacks. Um but then, you know, it's not lethal for, like, one little removal spell. And, like, you know, like a Mystic Shot on, like, the Shadow Assassin. It's, like, then then I priced into Rummaging to look for some kind of protection. Um, to try to make it lethal. My opponent started to play this very, very slowly the last couple of turns. I mean... Y'all are saying that he, you know, he's a, another streamer, so I guess maybe you know, just getting distracted with something else. I don't know. Um, Lee Sin. Um, I think Lee Sin's a good champion, but I, I think Lee Sin's probably like I think Lee Sin's kind of similar to Lux. All right, with the Mystic Shot, I feel safer just open attacking. So even. A mystic shot that kills my shadow assassin. I still have this for lethal. So, uh, yeah, I think Leeson's kind of comparable to Lux. Is in a better region. You know, I, being in Ionia is better than being in Demacia for a champion like that. But I think, you know, kind of like how much play Lux sees like right now. Like how, like Lux is really good. It just doesn't see like a ton of play. I kind of feel like Leeson's like that. Except for Leeson will probably see some more play... Again, for being in Ionia and not in Demacia. Alright, those last few turns took longer than they should have, but we got the win. It was a good match. GG's. Alright, we're 1-0. Um, Nautilus, I haven't... You know, Nautilus was just announced today. I haven't really thought about Nautilus 
too much. Um, that one's a little harder to see just, you know, from the little bit I've read the card of like, to, to figure out exactly how the play patterns are going to work with that card. You know, we'll we'll get into it tomorrow during our our preview stream when we really you know talk through it together. But I don't have a huge opinion on that card right now. Um, all right. Anyway, so what are we doing? So we just want to just keep all this like removal and stuff. Maybe get rid of twin disciplines. I don't like I don't like get excited without things to discard. But get excited does kill Ash. Oh no, we have Chump Womp. We have things to discard. This would be great to find Heimerdinger. Double Flash of Brilliance. Come on, Heimerdinger. Come on, Heimerdinger. Triple Flash of Brilliance. Oh my gosh, we have to find Heimerdinger. Where are you? What's up, puppers? I think this pupper's had a little bit too much of like the blue Gatorade. Got its mouth all blue, or like popsicles. Um, let's see. Hey, sweet liberties! Thanks for that resub. Six awesome months. Let's get some hype in the chat for our resub there. That's our third of the day. Two away from our sub goal. I am doing well. Thank you, sweet liberties. Thank you. Okay, um, anyway, we are going to... I do kind of want to just cast William and bounce Ash. But we're going to play that to give, give myself some uh, rummage fodder. Kill Ash with a thermogenic beam. And go looking for William. Or sorry, for Heimerdinger. Uh, where are you at, Heimerdinger? Blech. Bounce both these things. Going for the tempo play. All right, and here's Heimerdinger. No. Oh. We do find Heimerdinger. We are going to go crazy. A chill in the air. It's pretty, pretty weird not to play the Ice Veil Archer first. A lot of damage over there. And 
answers. I have them. Yeah, they got this challenger. It's kind of awkward. I'll admit. Awkward. No. Don't kill Heimerdinger. It's too late for you. All right, we got some floor begons. So let's see, we have three floor begons. Um, it's possible I'm not supposed to block with this two two. On the three one. Eight damage. Don't yeah, let's not block. This will level up Heimerdinger now. Puppy, stop. Stop. Okay. So let's go let's go attack in. Yeah, they're certainly gonna have frostbite spells. All these flash freezes are burst speed. Don't get to counter anything. <clears throat> but we don't have to worry about deny on their end. They're just going to take this, go down to three. I could, you know, plus with the twin disciplines. Um, if they would have frostbitten another thing, then I would have been plusing with the twin disciplines probably, but... A true shot barrage. Let's try this out. Three, two, one. Um, I guess we'll do three, two, one. Fuck. There we go. True shot barrage. Get it done. We found the Heimerdinger just in time. To have triple flash of brilliance. Pretty broken, but whenever we drew Heimerdinger, we put four three ones into play the same turn. Pretty broken. And you know, four three one unblockables for what our opponent was doing. And there you go, GG's. Two and L. That's supposed to be the number one deck that we just played against. I don't know about that. Like those, those, you know, Demacia Freljord is not so great against control, which I guess that's what we're playing because, you know, like the frostbite spells are usually not so great against control. We are playing against aggro and this could be tough for us. <laughs> All right, beam me up, ass assassin. Why do you have two toughness? You should have one toughness. You won't get past me. Don't you don't you love how the rear guard says you won't get past me, but the thing can't block? So it's just like everybody get gets past time. the rear guard. The rear guard duty is nothing short of a punishment. It's like won't get past me. It's like every, everybody gets past you. 
You don't do anything. Ooh. What you looking for? What you looking for? I don't know. What are you selling? What you buying? Vision, no. It's like the worst card. At least we'll rummage that away and give our allies plus one plus zero when we do. All right, we're booging. All right, well, I guess we need to watch out for Vision. We got a lot of burn spells over here. Here, Jinx. That'd have been nice to. If I had the one extra mana, I probably would have wanted to uh, rummage and discard this vision. Get the, you know, get the damage going. Get this race going with all these burn spells. But I, I feel like we need to thermogenic beam. Not impossible for them to empty their hand and level up Jinx, and then this doesn't kill the Jinx. It's not impossible. Wow, is that what they're going for? There goes a Decimate. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, there goes a lot of cards. Now it's a party. I can do this. Hmm. Good. Bad. I'm going down to seven. Yeah, maybe I should have just beamed the Draven since I had the opportunity to. Yeah, actually, I probably should just beam Draven, shouldn't I? Then I could have, yeah, because I could have just kept that. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, yeah, I, I would have had lethal-ish. I mean, well, depends on the, what they would have drawn. Yeah, I, I should have just thrown a beam to Draven. <laughs> Grenadier. Fired. 
should hopefully work out still. Just went with the. Who's gonna get in my way? Went with the slower kill. But yeah, that that would have been that would have been like I can't even say like this is the safer one like that that play was just like automatic. They're dead. You cannot escape. The end. The rules are made to control people. Um, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Do I do I discard? Do I rummage away the true shot barrage? That's what I'm not sure if I should do. I know, right? I'm always getting barrage. Should I, I rummage away barrage? I guess we'll keep it. This is really bad. I, I mean, I could have won this game. And now, because of Jinx, my opponent has the chance to maybe win this instead. Ugh. I'm getting rid of this barrage. The barrage just doesn't do anything. Alright, life gain. That's really nice. Glad we got rid of the barrage. This is so close. We're so close to dying. Oh man, we are really close to dying. What is all this stuff? All right, let's get rid of you and hmm, for a key guardian. No, you and you. Yeah, we need to find health potion. Or or get excited. That'll do. That'll do. Wow. Karma saved us. What a close game. Dang. What a game. And I, if I would have just thermogenic beamed that Draven, I would have won that like five turns before or whatever. So we did not need to be in that situation, but we were. <laughs> wow, GG's. Oh man, that, that second life steal, yeah. I, 
<laughs> Those are some top decks there, like that second lifesteal card. All that kind of stuff. Man, yeah, we had some great top decks. Alright, I like this hand. Uh, we'll get rid of the beam. Like, the Brilliance is really only good if we find Heimerdinger. I guess we get rid of Brilliance. But if we find Heimerdinger, it's great. But I, I love having Pickpocket on turn two. I really wish that we had the attack token on turn two with the Pickpocket. Because their turn two, they don't really want to play anything. Because they want to... Um, you know, they want a Catalyst. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so basically the reason... Yeah, the reason why Thermaging the Draven would have been better is because then I would have had... It, because then the Get Excited 3 damage I could have dealt to the Nexus, where you can't Thermogenic Beam the Nexus. And then, so I could have, I could have paired that uh, 3 damage from the... Uh, get excited with my twin disciplines that I would have used as plus three plus zero and then you know like the mystic shot that I had in hand I could have done all of that upstairs to their nexus and I could have killed them that next turn yeah I mean they they just knew that the that three two like that's what that three two can do it can just win you games and they just knew they like they did you know, they mulliganed into a bunch of, like, late-game cards and stuff and knew the 3-2 three, the three was just going to bury them. Yeah, we had a host earlier from uh, BBG. Had a, had a great host. And so we got a lot, of, a lot of new viewers in here. Welcome, everybody. Okay, we're playing against Zed with Demacia Ionia. We'll keep the assassin and to see what's up after that <laughs> hey GQ gamer yeah that that happens GG's though yeah like those games can happen. Alright. Let's get him, pickpocket. We got all pickpockets and assassins. Right now. Yeah. And I, I drew I even drew a second pickpocket, so I was gonna play that also, and yeah, if you didn't have an answer. Um, that's going to be pretty rough for you. I think we're just blocking. Because, yeah, like, against standalone, I want to just get keep getting the damage on there. damage no radiant strike no we were stricken um it would be nice to play the five mana champions Come here, pup. Oh. Puppy wants to join. Hey, puppy. This cannot hide. All right, well, it looks like we're not playing pickpocket. Oh, no. Bannerman? Oh, the Swiftwing Lancer created that, right? I was like, that's not a Bannerman deck.
All right, so uh, I'm just doing this to make the three one. No, another. Okay, well, that plan didn't work. My, that was a really aggressive line. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really aggressive line. And pretty unnecessarily aggressive line, to be honest. That was not patient. Should have been more patient. Rummage away a rummage. You cannot escape. I don't know, this keeps me having another twin disciplines and a deny available. All these poor three ones I was supposed to be making with Heimerdinger. Oh. Stupid deny doesn't do anything. Blech. Hey, Maverick. Brilliance. Get a progress day. What happened to the True Shot Barrage? I thought that was the only card we could get was True Shot Barrage. That's what it felt like, at least. Hey, Spirit Chiller. more Heimerdingers. So I have two options here. I can cast the Progress Day and draw six and just completely refill my hand. Um, you know, we would draw six cards and then we would have... Um, you know, we wouldn't. I hope they don't have another, um, another fight card. Really hope they don't. No, they have another fight card. Ugh. Dang. I was definitely planning on thermogenic beaming and getting two more three ones. Man, can I win now without any Heimerdingers? <sighs> Probably. Yeah, I mean, I, I sure, I, I still can, but. Yeah, a, a rally, a rally here kills me. Like, if they have Z plus Rally, you know, kind of thing. Or 
for those kind of things if they have this is a rally. Okay, cool. Not rally, that's good. Let's get some new cards. Let's get some new cards. Please don't rally. Alright, then we should be able to untap and we'll have get excited and mystic shots. And there we go. And we get the 5-0, is my assumption. With conviction. Right, they're all even doubled. Probably didn't need to cast all of them. Whatever. We still have Will of Ionia and Deny for whatever this card is. Yeah, Karma is pretty ridiculous. And there we go. Rank up Sunday finishing with the 5-0. Oh, that's, that's a way to end the stream. Right, puppy? Right, puppy? We have the other pupper. Uh, you can't you can't see Harvey. Harvey's down here. She's she, she pops her head up. There she is. She's a little bit bigger. There's Harvey. Harvey, we went five zero. Harvey, yeah, puppy, we went five zero, five zero. I I was surprised that nothing happened to either of these cards. Um, like well, not either of these cards, but just Ezreal and Karma. I was honestly surprised with the last um, update that nothing happened with either of those cards, but I expect something to happen with Karma or Ezreal, you know, like Karma and Ezreal eventually, but yeah, especially Karma. Um, one one thing that people are saying, that, that some people have said it in, uh, in chat, is that maybe... Uh, Karma will be whenever you play your first spell each turn, cast it again. And so it'll like double the first spell you play, but not every spell you play. Maybe that, but yeah, Karma is really good. Anyway, but yeah, Heimerdinger looked really good for us too. Like Heimer Heimerdinger looked good. Um, the Spirit's Refuges were awesome. Liked having both of those. Jump Wump was good. Yeah, I liked our list. The Rummages were really good. Pickpocket stole a game for us. Yeah, so Heimer Karma also looks pretty good. The one weakness of this deck is um, like the Heimer Ezreal deck, or sorry, the Karma Ezreal decks, that if if they can level up Ezreal, they can just drop Ezreal and do 20 to you, and you know, that's out of combat, and you can't really do anything about it, because your plan is really to play a bunch of turrets, which that, you know, turns on their static shocks and, and everything like that. And so you can, with this deck, while you're good against a lot of other things, you can struggle against Ezreal um, combo killing you. All right, but that's it here for Heimer Karma Control. Those of y'all watching on later on on YouTube, uh, remember to hit that like button over there. And again, you know, leave a comment about um, you know if you want to say like you know how would you nerf Karma if you wouldn't nerf Karma. Feel free to leave that comment. But then also just the the new set. You know, which champions and cards are you real excited about? Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Heimer Karma Control. Um, question is, Heimer Karm or Heimer Ez, what do you think is better? Um, like, in the in the mirror match, I'd probably rather be Ezreal than Heimerdinger. Um, but, but not all the time. I mean, Heimerdinger is really, really strong. And just kind of in general, I like playing the Heimerdinger version more than the Ezreal version. You saw we went 2-3 with Ezreal Karma today. We went 5-0 with Heimerdinger. I, I like playing Heimerdinger. I think like it kind of fits my play style better. Um, I like this tech more. Yeah, Heimer's more mid-range. Ezreal's more like combo control. And I, I like this version better for myself.
I'm, a, I'm more of a mid-range player. All right, but there we go. Yep, that's Heimer Karma Control. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.